Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with Randall from Dell at Dell's pre-CES 2022 tech tour and he has got some new toys to show us, right Randall? That's right I do. All right, what are we looking at here? So uh, we're redesigned our XPS 13 product and this is elevating by quite a bit. The big story for us is actually the design change for it. It's now the XPS 13 Plus. <clears throat> the big change we wanted to simplify the product, uh, let's have smoother edges, softer, uh, softer colors. Uh, we've got this platinum color. We also have a graphite color option. Uh, we have a new uh, seamless glass haptic touchpad at the front, uh, easing into a latticeless keyboard and a capacitive functioner on the back. This new product not only has a simpler I.O. with the smooth finishes as well, it's also more powerful. Uh, we've moved to a 28 watt processor with a more robust thermal solution, so you get this beautiful new design and a more powerful system all at the same time. Nice, so this is the XPS 13 Plus. That's correct. And you said capacitive function buttons on top. Do those do those change? Can yeah, you... so all keyboard right now, you have uh, different media keys as well as function. All we've done is now whenever you hit the function key, it switches it between the two, so you're only seeing the ones that are active at that particular time. Nice. And the trackpad is there. That's right. So the trackpad is there. Um, it's not the entire surface. It's in the normal location from the edge of the space bar to the opposite edge of the alt key. And it's haptic, so whenever you push down on it, you'll get haptic feedback, but it's not moving at all. It's a solid surface the entire time. Nice, and so powered by Intel 12th Gen Core Technologies, I presume? That's correct. It's a new 28-watt processor, so it's more powerful than the 15-watt version that we were using on the last XPS 13. Nice, and what about display type options? So we've got still the, the normal gamut. It's an updated displays. They're a little bit more power efficient, but we have a, a full high definition. We also have a 4K, uh, and we also have an OLED, a 3.5K OLED panel that's available in a touch option. Ooh, 3.5K OLED, that sounds pretty good. 16 by 10 format? Still 16 by 10. We've updated the camera on here. Now it's got a separate IR and RGB sensor, which means it's much better for low light situations. So you'll have a lot clearer picture if you've got a sketchy light situation. And Windows Hello compatible? Correct, Windows Hello. It also has the Intellivision sensing, so you can set it up so that when you walk away, it'll automatically lock itself and then log it in with your face as soon as you get back. And a redesigned keyboard, it looks like, as well. That's right, it's, it's latticeless, so before we had a chiclet style where there was a, a gap between each key, this is enlarging the keycaps, which makes it a little bit easier to type. It's got the same amount of travel that we had before, a similar technology underneath to uh, for, the, for the typing capability, but the larger keycaps mean you can be a little bit less precise whenever you're pressing each letter on not hitting the center of the, the keycap. Looks pretty sweet. That's the Dell XPS 13 Plus. And thanks very much, Randall. It's a great tour. Appreciate it. Thanks.